follow their students. Here we have new lessons about grammar. The first one is why and because. So as you see here, we have why it's for question and we have because it's for answer. You have the use, which means when we use why. So we say why is a question word, which is used to know the reason of a situation or in order to know, for example, the purpose behind this situation. Or when you are asking a person in order to give you an explanation about something that you want to know it. And if that person wants to answer you, he's going to use because. Okay, so because to answer the why, which means the word because it is used in order to answer for why. So it is a question and give a reason of a situation. Because as we said, it answers the why, which means it answers the question and it give us an explanation of something we are asking about or we are asked about. Then you have here some examples. The first one you have, why do you learn English? So here's the person is asking about learning English. For example, if you want to ask someone why, he has to give you an explanation or the reason of this situation, why he wants to learn English. And here is an example you can say, because I like it which means I like English. Or maybe he's going to say to you, because English, English is easy for me. It's up to the question, okay? Then you have number two. For example, we have, why are you angry? So here you are asking about the feelings of someone. You want to know why this person is not happy. Then, if he wants to ask or to answer you, sorry, he's going to say, because my little brother breaks my phone. So here, the person is giving to you a reason behind his feeling, which means he is explaining why he is angry, why he is not happy, and he is so sad. So, because his brother or her brother breaks their phone. Okay, so here we finish the first lesson. Let's move now to the second one. So, the second lesson is has and have got. So here you have some examples. Look at the first one. We have, I've got two brothers. So here, where is the subject? And where is the verb? So here, of course, as you know, the subject is I. Then the verb here is VE got. We are not going to say that the verb is just got or it's just this one. Why? Because here, this one is just one verb. We say I got two brothers which means i have got two brothers so here what is the kind of this sentence is it question negative or positive form of course it is positive form then in the second sentence we have she hasn't got a sister so here the subject is of course she and the verb is hasn't got so here the kind of the sentence is negative form why we say it's negative form because here we have an apostrophe t which means not we say she has not <coughs> got a sister or she hasn't got a sister here we have hasn't is the short form it's the same of this one we say I've got which means I have 
So when we have apostrophe, the apostrophe ve, which means it's the short form of the verb have got. And the third example, you have, have you got a car? Have you got a car? So here we have the subject, of course, is you. And the verb is have got. So here, I've, if you pay attention here, we invert the subject. When we say invert the subject, what does it mean? Which means when you have. The subject, the first one, when you have the positive, we use subject plus verb, okay? But when we invert the subject, which means we change their places. So the same thing here. Here, in order to write the subject is the first one. We don't write it, but we use the verb, it is the first one. Then you have the subject, which means we invert the subject which means the inversion of subjects. So here you have, yes, I have, or we say, no, I haven't. What are they? So here's the short form of this question. You say, have you got a car? So if the person wants to answer you, he's going to say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Okay? So here are the short answers we are not going to say yes i have got no we say just yes i have and here we are not going to say no i haven't got we say just i haven't okay so here you have the use when we use has or have got we use the verb have got in general to talk about things that people own which means in order to talk about what other people have you have to say has if you are going to talk about the uh, the third person singular subject you're going to use has got but if you want to talk about the others you're going to say have got so in general we use this verb to talk about what others have or what people own and here are the forms that you're going to use for this verb you have the positive negative question and short answers so for the positive form we're going to use have sorry we use the subject okay plus have got when we say the subjects what are the subjects that use it with have got you have I, you, we, they. So these are the subjects which are used with have got. And then you have he, she, it. Which means they are the third person singular subjects. Okay? We use with them has got we say he she it has got and here this is the full form but if you want to use this short form it's like what you have in the first example like here so here we use the apostrophe as we say ve okay so the same thing for this one when you have i you we they if you want to use the short form you can use apostrophe v e but this tense which means apostrophe <coughs> v e it's not used for the lot of times which means just if you are uh, in informal writing okay or in the speaking then you can use it but if you are in formal, okay, which means formal writing, you have to use have got. And the same thing, what we have here, we have the negative form. We use I, you, we, they, plus haven't got, 
or we say have got. So here haven't got is the short form, but have got is the full form. And here we have he, she, it. So it is used plus hasn't got or has not got. And it's the same. <coughs> so here we have, this is the short form and this is the long form. We move to question form. We have, as we already said, the inversion of the subject. We invert the subject with the verb. So we use have, I, or you, or we, or they, got, and plus the rest of the sentence, which means we finish our sentence. Here, if you want to say, for example, I, or have I, sorry, have I got, so, uh, or have you got, for example, or have they got, have they got a house, for example, then you have here, has, plus he, she, it, got. So here you can say, for example, has she got a phone? So here we use the, the has plus the subject plus got plus the rest of the sentence, which means we finish our sentence. The last one we have short answers. For the short answers, you may answer with yes or no. It's up to what you want to answer the others. So, for example, if someone asks you a question, you can say yes, plus subject, plus have, which means yes, I, you, or we, or they, plus have. If we have no, we say no, plus subject, plus haven't, which means no, I haven't, or no, you haven't, no, we haven't, no, they haven't, and so on. Then you have, for the third, single, third person singular subjects, we use yes, he or she or it has. Or we say no, he or she or it hasn't. This is for the negative short form, or uh, sorry, the negative short answer. So here is the lesson that you have for today. If you have any question or any comment, you are welcome in my private box in the WhatsApp group. You can ask me whatever you want.